is going down. Jake? Right there. You are not going to believe the incredible breakthrough that Abigail and I had. And you are right. also not going to believe it. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. How have you been? I've, I've been, I've been great. How have you been? I've been okay. Um, this is harder than I thought it would be. Uh, wh what, talking to me? About this, yeah. Um, well, you know, what the heck. If you don't want to say yes, you don't have to do it. You do what? Molly and I are getting back at Katie pretty for all the trouble she caused us. Do you want to help? Oh. Everything to fix yourself up. Thanks you need to lay really Just low at the leg view, okay? <sighs> okay, thanks. Bye. Good to see you, Molly. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Easy. Bye. -bye. Get the door. The door's got it. Thank you. Top bath. She's here for you. Oh, really? In your bathrobe. Interesting. She wanted to wash the jail grime off. Oh, so you <laughs> bailed her out of jail. Sure. Uh-huh. And risked bringing the wrath of Lucinda Walsh down on your head. Not to mention putting out boatloads of cash to spring Rose D'Angelo from jail for me. <laughs> I'm way smarter than that. I did it for Lucinda, too. Oh, so Lucinda's gonna join this little party. Hmm, another one for your harem. Two girls aren't, isn't enough. You're jealous. I'm peeved. I'm very peeved. Because every time I walk through your door, some babe is either hugging you or running around your apartment half naked. What's up with that, Jake? Is that some trend? As long as you keep walking through the door. I mean, that's why I gave you the key, because uh, I love seeing you in this room. Then, then get rid of the crowd. I am working on that. Not until you give me an explanation. I sprung Rose because Emily was sniffing around for a story, and I thought I would protect Lucinda's interests. Did Lucinda know about that? No, but I don't think she's going to have a problem with it, because I just called Matthew, and, and Lily is home safe and sound. There, you satisfied? Not quite. You see, I need to know what Rose's being here is going to do for me. Miss D'Angelo is going to help us stomp on Katie. What do we need her for? Jake, we have the case. Overkill, insurance, whatever. I'm just not going to leave any of this a chance. And you could have gotten Emily to back off of Rose's own phone call. True. So why did you do this for me? The trial with Stenbeck is going to be very, very hard on you. And I just thought you should be solid, steady. Besides, if you're going to take, take one last bad girl showing, it might as well be a good one. Are those lips still available? Oh. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey, before you guys get past the point of no return, we gotta go, right? Yes. So let's go. Come on. What? We gotta go. Jake, yes. where are you going? I told Abigail to meet us here. To get Rose situated. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Did I tell you that you're absolutely the most gorgeous woman that's ever been in this room? How did you figure out that Katie was the one? <sighs> Molly got proof. A tape where Katie confessed. I knew it. I've known that Katie was behind this whole thing. I wanted to nail her on it, too, and or at least warn you and Molly, but I never had proof. Well, now we got proof, and we're going to hang her with it. I'm with you 100%. You just tell me what I have to do. Mm, depends. How sneaky are you? Hey. <laughs> oh, come on in. I told him everything. Everything. And I am dying to help. Unless, of course, you'd rather... Uh... Leave me out of it. I figured it was as much his fight as it is ours. I mean, sure. As long as everything goes as planned, but if it doesn't... Yeah, I can handle whatever. I'm just... I'm just happy to get, be here with the two of you and have everything be okay between us. Yeah, well, 
Nothing like a good public tar and feathering to bring the folks back together, huh? <laughs> so, where's Jake? Um, he's arranging the finale, actually. Where do we come in? Well, you guys are gonna put the whole plan into motion. Okay, you just hang out here. I'll be right back. Oh, I know. I need to go backstage and make sure that it's okay for you to hang out. Okay? Why, can't I, why, why can't I go with you? I don't know. Maybe because the press is setting up in the dining room, and, and, and if you walk through there, I just don't want anybody seeing you from W-O-A-K. So you stay here. I'll be right back. Does that make any sense? Are you... Is it happening because it's, it's Tom Mayer, Jacking okay? and being a little bit less conspicuous. Listen to me. Hang out, act like a tourist, okay? As a matter of fact, once you put this in front of your face, even your mother won't recognize you. Goodbye. Hey. So, are you okay with this? Are you sure you're okay with this? I can handle it. Just hope I can. Let's do it. <laughs> D-Day. Too hard. Doesn't look like he gets out very much. <laughs> and you definitely look distracting. They're here. <laughs> Katie and Holden? No, no, Molly and the kids. How about you bamboozle me into this? I'm gonna embarrass myself in front of thousands of people. Let me tell you something. You were gonna sink Katie Prey's boat permanently tonight. She's not worth it. But Holden. Holden is. 